Hi, in this video of C language, we are going to have a look on the type def. Basically, we can use the type def keyword for giving an alternate name to a data type. Basically, we will use this type def properly by the time we will start working with some complex data types such as union or structures. But here, for reference only, you can see like we have a data type called care and using type def, we are giving it a new alternate name as it is a syntax like type def, the actual type name and then its new name. So that is what we have done here. Like we have written a byte as an alternate name for char. So here for defining a variable of character type, I can either go for the char, which is the original one or the byte keyword. So this byte is not a keyword basically, it's an alternate name. So this ch1 will be of byte type and whose byte? Byte is char. So ultimately ch1 is of character type. So basically we use this type def for giving a smaller or meaningful name to the complex type like structures and union. But in this example, let's see how to implement this type def keyword. So now here in the type def example, you can see like I have renamed the data type integer. So here using the type def keyword later, the actual data type name that is int and later I renamed it as integer. So throughout this program, whenever I want, I can use this integer in spite of using int. So here, as you can see int a, so a is of int type. Similarly, B is of integer type, but internally B means integer is also int. So B is of int type. So both are having the same data type. So similarly, when I will sum them up, I can store that inside C, which is of integer type again. Uh, again, that is A, that is int. And for printing this C, which is of integer type, I can go for the same format specify means everything is going to be same it's just you are giving an alternate name for a particular program for a data type so let's execute this and there is nothing tricky you will get the same simple output that is 10 plus 20 is 30. So whenever you have some complex type, this is not a very accurate example because obviously int is quite handy for me for using rather than this integer. But by the time we'll start working with the complex data types such as enums or structures or unions, you can simply give them a simpler name by using this type def. And by the time we'll start working on that, I'll definitely show you how to work with the type defs.